Hey guys, this is Patty B within the hauler. I got another firearm I'd like to share with y'all. This is the Bulgarian Arsenal SLR 104 FR, chambered in 5.45 by 39. Uh, this particular firearm belongs to my buddy George, so shout out to George for uh, letting me uh, borrow it for this review. The uh, SLR 104, you know, is a semi automatic uh, gas operated rifle, has a long stroke gas piston, feeds from a detachable 30 round magazine. It's got a uh, 16 and a quarter inch barrel. It's hammer forged and chrome lined, and uh, this particular model weighs uh, 6 pounds, 15 ounces on my scale. So the SLR-104 uh, is a Bulgarian-made you know, copy of the AK-74. The Soviets came out with the AK-74 you know, in the mid-70s. Um, they changed over from 762 by 39 to 5.45 by 39, going from 30 cal to uh, 22. There were a few other minor changes, but more or less, it's still uh, still just AK. So the uh, Bulgarians made uh, licensed copies of the AK-74. And uh, this is, you know, the civilian variant of that. Uh, so we'll go over some of the features on this rifle. Start here at the back. It is pretty cool. You've got the uh, stamped sheet metal triangle folding stock. Push the button. Stock folds and it's caught by that little catch there. So you pop it open. There you go. Uh, it came with a standard po um, polymer pistol grip, but uh, my buddy removed that and put this mag pull on. He likes it better, and frankly, I do too. Uh, you've got your mag release over here. Uh, this is rock and lock like every other AK. You've got your standard uh, optics mount. Over on this side, you've got your uh, attachment for mounting the sling. You've got your safety. Uh, I believe that he, uh, this is an aftermarket safety on his. I don't know if it's a Krebs or who made it, but he's got the enhanced safety that uh, has a bigger shelf here to make manipulating the safety much easier. Uh, you got your charging handle. Of course, it's reciprocating on an AK. You've got your rear sight out to 1,000 meters. You've got polymer hand guards, upper and lower. You've got your 90 degree gas block. Cleaning rod. Got your front sight, which is adjustable for windage and elevation, and you've got your AK-74 style muzzle brake. Uh, so the takedown on this is exactly like every other AK. Um, we can just, I'll show you real quick. Take your dust cover off, maybe. You've got your spring and guide, bolt and carrier. So. Well, it looks like my buddy George hadn't cleaned this in a while. Uh, there's a lot of red gunk in here, which I'm assuming is primer sealant from uh, you know, some of the rounds he was firing. But a single hook trigger with a pure AK. Um, of course, you can remove the upper hand guard and gas tube, you know, flipping that lever. I'm not going to go through that right now. There's plenty of videos to show you how to do that. So putting them back together is just the opposite. Bolt and carrier. Spring and dust cover. There you go. So I'm pretty excited about this review today. Um, I own a handful of AKs, four or five, I guess, but they're on 762. I have shot this a little bit, but I, I don't think I have, man, maybe a mag or two through it. Um, and I don't have much trigger time between you know, a 5.45 gun. So kind of looking forward to this, um, comparing it to the 7.62 rifles that I got. I mean, you know, these Arsenal rifles have a really good reputation for being good quality stuff. So it should be a blast to uh, take this out and shoot it today. You know, it should be nice, smooth recoil. Not much recoil off the 5.45 and you got this big old break on the end. So, well, hey, that's enough talking. Let's go out there and uh, bring some steel with this bad boy. All right, let's take some shots at 100 yards with the uh, SLR 104.
All right, not too hard. The uh, first impression is, man, this thing shoots smooth. Uh, not a whole lot of recoil, you know, 545 and that break. Nice. All right, the uh, SLR normally came, I believe, with a uh, Bulgarian waffle mag, but uh, my buddy gave me some, uh, you know, Russian mags to use for this review, which is kind of cool, shooting the old Rusky mags. But we'll try 200 yards with this thing, see what we can do. All right, when I do my part, she does hers. Uh, once again, man, just so soft, soft shooting. I like it. All right, we're back inside from shooting the uh, SLR 104, and man, all I can say is it's awesome. Um, you know, after use to shooting 762 AKs, uh, you know the 545 AK, man, it just it shoots so soft and it just stays on target. You can just squeeze the trigger and just keep hitting what you're aiming at, just because it just doesn't move much. You know, between the soft shooting 545 and then you know that break, it just does a really good job of keeping you on target for sure. Uh, I didn't put too many rounds through it today, you know, ammo being what it is in early 2022. Uh, of course, there are no malfunctions. And, you know, my buddy George, who owns this, I don't think he's put that many through it, you know, uh, at least several hundred, maybe a thousand at the most. And, uh, of course, there's not been any malfunctions for him either. You know, this is definitely a quality, quality AK. And, uh, you know, I kind of wish I got in the 545 game because it seems like it takes the AK to the next level, just how soft shoot it is. But pretty cool so all right guys there you go bulgarian arsenal slr 104 fr y'all have a nice day